Alrighty, in today's video, we're gonna do a kind of a quick test. I've got nine pieces of new Nostler brass left over, and I just picked up this EP Integrations Annealer, Flame Annealer. Um, I've always annealed kind of using a drill and a torch, but got tired of doing that and thought this would be a pretty simple, easy way to do it. This is very similar to the Annealies. Um, I went with this one because you don't have to buy any extra parts, it's adjustable. If you guys wanna see a video on this um, annealer, there's plenty of them on YouTube. But anyway, so what we're going to do today is we're going to compare a load that we used in the past. This is with the 123 grain boat tail hollow point from Hornady with 43.3 grains of H4350 at 2.775 cartridge overall length. Now these shot really good in the past. We've always had decent SDs, you know, 8, 9, 10, something like that when I've shot this load. But I wanted to do a test today to see how new brass, that is the one on the right there, compares to one times fired brass that has been annealed, resized, the shoulder bumped, two thousandths and cleaned and ready to shoot again. So I will, we'll, we'll check to see velocity numbers. We'll check to see group size and we'll just see if there's any difference. What we'll do is we'll try to manage barrel heat. We'll talk about it on the range here, but what we're going to do is we're going to shoot five pieces of annealed brass first, then five pieces of new brass, and then four pieces of new brass, and then four pieces of annealed brass to try to even out the um, barrel heat. It is going to be a cold day. So barrel heat's not going to play big, too much of a factor. But let's get out there on the uh, range and let's see how this test works. Alrighty, we are out here on the range. The target is at 100 yards. The gun is warmed up. I shot two rounds through it just a few minutes ago to warm it up. About 25 degrees out. We're getting our velocity through our lab radar. All right, so first here is going to be our annealed brass. Going to do five shots. This is one times fired. And also brass bumped the shoulder about two thousandths. So that was our five pieces of a needle brass. Looks like we shot a decent group over there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and disarm the chronograph and see what, and move over to uh, our new brass. So just create a new series. I'm gonna go ahead and arm the chronograph and we're gonna shoot five at that target just to the right there. Now these are new brass. Just ran um, them through the die once, just to make sure all the necks were around, no annealing, nothing like that. This is what the load was developed, well, I guess developed with, to an extent. Let's see how these shoot. All right, so that was the five that were new brass, not annealed. Looks like we didn't get as good a group there. These loads are hotter than what I remember. Our brass is uh, showing some pressure signs here. Primers are a little bit flattened. So, all right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shoot four of the new brass at that same new brass target to kind of try to even out or make it a little bit more fair for a barrel heat. And then we'll go back and shoot for a needle piece of the brass.
So that was the four from our unannealed brass. Now we're going to move back over to our four pieces of annealed brass to so try to even out the barrel heat. See how warm we're getting there. Because it's a really cold day, I mean, really the barrel's not even hot. It's still uh, cool enough to grab hold of. So I don't think barrel heat's playing too big of a role here. Actually doesn't look like a bad nine shot group there. Looks like a lot of them wanted to group in together. So let's see what our four pieces of annealed brass do. Moving back to that target on the left. Last one here. All right, so just by taking a look here, it looks like our annealed brass group is maybe a little bit smaller. So let's get back to the bench and we'll take a closer look. Alrighty, so we are back at the bench here. Take a look at our targets today. I think they're pretty impressive targets for nine shot groups. The one times fired and annealed brass shot 29.42 feet per second with a 9.2 SD over the nine shots and just at a 0.85 inch group. We had that one that flew up just a little bit high that messed our group up a little bit, but really nice group. Moving over to our new brass, we shot 29.46 feet per second with an 11.1 .1 SD for nine shots and just over a one inch group at 1.18 inch group. Now, if we throw out that bottom group, it is almost the same size as our group on the left there, but I think that flyer does count. Felt like a good shot. So looking at these results here, we got a little bit better group size and we got a little bit better velocity consistency with our annealed brass. So I think that's pretty much what we all thought was gonna happen. Fire form brass, annealed so we had consistent neck tension, it would equal better groups and better SD. Pretty fun test here and I needed something to do with those nine pieces of brass. If you guys are interested in seeing the EP Industries annealer in action, I could make a quick video of that as well. It's been pretty fun to use so far, a whole lot better than using a drill and a torch myself. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you guys next time.